G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from CapsuleComputers.com. I've got with me Travis, the wolf from uh, Capsule Computers as well. We've, he's got his uh, the PlayStation Vita in his hands right now. And we've also got Paul Lovell from the Big Big Game Studios, um, part, also part of... Uh, Big Surf, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's, uh, from Sony as well. Now, um, I'm going to hand you over to, uh, to Paul, and Paul's going to give us a rundown of actually the games that, he, uh, that, he's, that he's developing and also what the uh, PS, PS Vita can do. Okay, cool. All right. Here we go, Paul. Okay, cool. So this game is Little Deviants, uh, and the E3 demo is a four-level demo showing you, and each, each game shows you a different way of interacting with the game. So this game is called Box Blast, and as you can see, it's an argumentative reality game using a rear camera. Right. And you've got to move around the room, shooting at the robot that's trying to fire at your deviants. Right. You've got blue guys there. So you're moving around, you can move around basically any anywhere you want in the room, yes. following the robots around, shooting at them. So this one's a full on argument argument reality is, game. Yeah. So you can see you in slime there, so if you wipe it off with your front, front screen. Oh, awesome, look at that. So basically all the features of the Vita, which are on a new touch game, screen, everything. Touch screen, rear touch. Yes. Uh, front camera, rear camera. Brilliant. Uh, microphone. As well. Uh, microphone and six axes, yeah. So not, not all games use all the features. Oh yeah, no, no, of course but, not. No. Uh, that's just the feature set for the machine. Yes, yes, okay. So this one this one basically is this one's basically what taking advantage of the front screen touch panels. Yeah, and the rear camera, yeah. And the rear camera. And the six axis is using for motion. Oh yeah, of course, of course, of course. Awesome. Alrighty. That one looks cool. Yeah, it does look brilliant. Now this title is um, this is an individual title, or it's going to be bundled up with other titles as well. Uh, it's going to be one full release game uh, for launch on both uh, card and PlayStation Network. Okay, so you can download it off the PlayStation Network, and also it'll come with the, in, in, on a retail card. Yeah, in the stores. Yeah. In the right. stores as well. Uh, for day one launch, whenever the beta launches. Yeah. All right, brilliant. All right. Brilliant. Okay, what's the next one? Uh, so the next game is um, this game is called Death Charge, and that uses six axis. Six axis as well. You'll, you'll be rocking the uh, controller. How intuitive is it, uh, Travis, when you touch the screen? Very responsive. Very responsive. Awesome. So basically, it's a capacitive screen, multi-touch front and multi-touch back as well. Multi-touch front and back. Yeah, so we've got, you know, yeah, you can do pretty much... You're many, not many fingers, not just one many, touch. Many fingers, yeah. All right, that's good. It's good to hear. Uh, so this one, yeah, you're rocking left to right to tilt to tilt the Deviant through the cave. All right. It's a complex cave. A Deviant is what, like a little, that little ball, is it? They're, yeah, they're Deviants from space. There's an overall story to the game, which right. we're, we're going to discuss, uh, like in trailers and stuff later on. All right. So as you can see, you tilt the Deviant. Yeah, so, oh, okay, he's, yeah, he's floating across yeah. the screen. The idea is to get to the bomb at the end of the level before, uh, before the bomb explodes. Ah, oh, okay. All right, so yeah, here, big, really big time here using the, the six axis, really yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing, look at that. And it makes it down to the bottom, awesome. So this one's taking ma mainly the, 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 G -ax the, the six axis control, right, yeah. yeah, yeah. Gyro, if you want, is it kind of gyro if you want to? Uh, similar to it is yeah six, it's got a gyro and accelerometer doing so accelerometer as well it yeah. Has, yeah yeah uh, what's it feel like travis is it easy to do yes it's a little bit it's, it's really it's responsive time to get very responsive to, that's so. what we're trying to try yeah, to figure so out here for so people the screen's to... really good response time and yeah obviously this game is running at 60 frames a second as well 60 frames as well so wow nice. um, just like like i said we just want to get everybody to see who's watching this at the moment just to see how responsive it possibly would be. And you see the viewing angle is really good on the screen as well when you're tilting it. Yeah, exactly. You can never not see what's going on. That is amazing because, yeah, a lot of people, like, if you, even if you're playing on other other handhelds, as you know, other, like a 3D or 3DS, you can see that if, if Travis was playing it right now, we wouldn't be able to see what he's doing. So, yeah, you can see from an angle, you can actually yeah. still see what's going on from, from even right from the side as well. So, really good video screen. Very, good. very bright. Yeah, very, very bright. Do you know how long the battery life on the PS Vita goes for? I'm not sure on my man. That's one of the hardware guys. Uh, right. That'd be I'll tell you maybe. Not a problem. That's All not, right. That's that's not finalised yet. Yeah. yeah, sure, sure. That's a lot. A lot of questions. Everyone's been saying at different type yeah. of hours, like three, Absolutely, four. Yeah. But yeah, we'll find that one out later for everybody listening. All right. Is that enough? So let's jump out to the next one. So the next game is next called game. Uh, House of Wax. So again, if you look at this, uses a combination of front and rear touch. Right. Front and front and rear. What's the rear look like, Travis? Alright. 
So basically the entire back panel there, where the, where the, sim, where the PlayStation symbols on, you can touch that, and there's full touch. Alright, cool. Uh, so yeah, it's got... of the year. So, <laughs> <laughs> so basically when you see a Deviant poking its uh, out the door, if yeah. it faces you, you tap on the front, if it's got its back to you, you hit him on the back. Oh wow, well, very smart. And the little human, you have to avoid hitting them, otherwise they take time off your, yes. your timer. So, so, you, yeah, so yeah, when he's looking at the front, you hit him in the front, you really can't see the back, everybody, but you can see that when it, when you see the back of them, you tap the back of the screen. Very, very good. So basically, what, what we're trying to do is use every piece of hardware we can on the machine to yes. create a, a, a level. Yes. Uh, basically, all the levels are different. There'll be about 30 in total, and they okay. all use the hardware in a different way. Brilliant. So basically, day one, they'll be able to buy the game. Yep. And it'll, yeah, in, bit, in, in a way, it also introduce exactly introduce you to actually how everything works with the PS Vita, with every sort of functionality it's got. Amazing. All right, let's jump on to the next one. That one's easy to understand. That one's about actually pretty easy to understand. That one. All right. Okay, so this one uses rear touch exclusively. Rear touch. All right. This is where this is what was shown as a tech demo back in January when they showed uh, NGP. Okay. So you move your finger around the touch pad on the back. At the back, yeah. And it deforms a landscape. Yes. Allowing you to uh, move a deviant around the left. Oh, okay, okay, yes, yes, okay. Yeah, this one actually here. I think it's, when I saw this one, I kind of freaked out. All right, so the, this one here. Okay, so the little deviants on the. You pretty much have to move the deviant into the into the hole. Into the blue hole, yeah. And so you can't you can't use six axis or anything there. So you got to pretty much. Just rear touch. So what Travis is doing at the moment is you guys can't see it, but he's actually putting his finger at the back of the on the back of the PS Vita, and he's lifting up the uh, the world, so you can actually move the, the little deviant into the hole. There you go, like that. Very 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 smart. As you can see right there, he's lifting it up. You've got to get used to putting your fingers around the place. Yeah. Once you get used to it, I think then you can do it really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. It gets, of course, this gets harder as well, this one, doesn't it? It does, it gets harder, yeah. Okay, travel. The rear touch pad is patch sensitive as well, but we're not using that for this particular yeah, game. Yeah, but, uh, so, yeah. Oh, that, that's got limited, op limited op possibilities, especially even with like fighting games or anything like that, or even RPGs where you can like the, hold it, the harder you hold it down, the more power you do Absolute, with the, yeah, 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 that's amazing. Charging any exactly, yeah, control, exactly, yeah, yeah holding down, down, yeah, charging up is that's it, it's true. All right, is there any, well, that's, one? That's, 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 that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right, so Paul, give us, how about, maybe give us a rundown of what the, what the PS Vita's got with buttons and all that sort of stuff as well. Okay, so you've got the classic uh, PlayStation symbols, face buttons, yep. uh, D-pad, you've got a left analog stick, Yes. you've got, now got a right analog stick, which right. is great, yep. uh, you've got a capacitive OLED front, uh, front screen, that's, yep. that's multi-touch. Multi-touch as well. Flip it over. Flipping it over. Flip it over, you've got the, um, you've got the rear touch pad, which again is multi-touch and pressure sensitive. Yeah, see, so yeah, yeah. everyone can see there's like all those, it looks, symbols. all those little symbols, pretty much are where you've got to put your fingers on, on here, yeah. exactly. Got, uh, rear camera here. You got the rear, ca yep, rear yeah, camera and the grips. So if you flip it back. Yep. Uh, you've got the front camera. Yep. And built in, you've got the six axis controls. Yes. Uh, shoulder buttons. Shoulder buttons. And the media slots, which will be for game yes. and storage. So and media uh, volume control and power. Okay, so that that one is what? Uh, so this one, I'm not sure which one it order is, but one of them is for the game card that you the game? store. Yep. And the other one is for storing uh, games that you download from the PlayStation Network. All right, and the volume and the power is over the there too. Power, yeah. All right, is yeah. it yeah. Wi-Fi? not quite final hardware. This. Of course. It's quite close. Very, very close. And is, yeah. is there a Wi-Fi switch on off? Uh, that's not on the machine I've seen, but again, it's not final, so that might be right. added on a different day. And that's pretty and much that's your front camera there. Yeah, oh, yeah, the yeah. front camera is right next yeah. to the uh, buttons. Yeah. Okay, and what about, what's underneath? Just the power the and the USB got, connector? Uh, you've got a multi out and you've got a headphone jack. That's for power, yeah. Okay, so multi out to a TV? Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. That's definitely for power at the moment and that's for headphones. Oh, okay, okay. No problem at all. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for your time, Paul, and I uh, hope you guys, hope everybody um, enjoys uh, enjoyed the, the rundown of the PS Vita. Master Abbott and Travis running out, uh, logging out from capsulecomputers.com.